Hi students, this is Mr. Yao. Today we're going to talk about 1.4, where we will use simplifying expression to solve multi-step equations. If you are still struggling with solving two-step equations, please watch 1.3 video. Solving multi-step equation is the same as solving two-step with just one extra thing. First, we would need to simplify expressions before we solve the two-step equation. And in order to do that, we need to distribute first to remove grouping symbol. And by that, it actually means parentheses. Then we're going to combine like terms. The rest is the same as 1.3. We're just solving two sub equations, which again is the same idea as unwrapping and wrapping gifts. Now let's look at the first example. Before we do anything else, Let's have the habit of drawing a line down the equal sign. And then we're going to distribute. 3 goes inside the parentheses. And please make sure you're not connecting the 3 with the 2, since the 2 is not inside the parentheses. So after distribution, I will get 3x, 3 times the negative 1, which is minus 3, then plus 2 equals 11. Now I can see I can combine like terms, because I have a negative 3 and a plus 2. That becomes 3x minus 1. The key is, this 11 right here is actually on the right side. It cannot be combined with everything on the left side. We're combining like terms by the side. So we still have this equal to 11 on the right side. Now we can do what we did last time. Think about the operation if we do actually know x. I have this multiplication first, and then I have the subtraction. So multiplication first, then subtract. In order to go backwards, I'm going to do the opposite, so I'm going to need to add first. I'll add 1 on both sides. They cancel. I have 3x equals 12. And then I have, I need to get rid of this multiplication, so I divide. Divide both sides by the 3. I can get x equals 4. Now last thing, we still need to check our answer. I'm going to take this 4 and plug it back into the equation to replace x. So 3 times 4 minus 1 plus 2 equals 11. We're trying to see if it actually equals to 11. Left side, 4 minus 1, that's a 3. So 3 times 3, then plus 2. We still don't know. But 3 times 3 is a 9 plus 2. It does actually equal to 11. That means we got it right. Now example two, same thing. We do need to distribute first, but be careful. We actually have a negative two that needs to be distributed to the x and then distribute to the negative two. So line down the equal sign, we will get seven x minus two x. Negative two times negative two is a positive four equals 24. Then I do have like terms that can combine. These two becomes five x plus four equals 24. Now let's see what kind of operations we have. Between the 5 and x, we have multiplication, and then we have this plus sign. In order to get rid of them, I need to go backwards. To get rid of addition, I need to subtract. So subtract 4 on both sides. They cancel, I will get 5x equals 20. And now I need to get rid of the multiplication by divide. So divide both sides by a 5 x equals 4. Now I just need to take the 4 and replace the x. 7 times 4 minus 2 times 4 minus 2. We're trying to see if it actually equals 24. 4 minus 2 is a 2, so I have 7 times 4 minus 2 times 2. We're trying to see if it equals 24. 7 times 4 is 28, 2 times 2 is 4, it does actually equal to 24. That means we got it right. That is how to solve multi-step equation. We simplify first, and then we just solve the two-step equation, like we learned in 1.3. That is everything. Thank you.